Okay, and hello, hello everyone, and welcome to my very first episode of uh, Guild Wars 2 Let's Play. And uh, I'm starting in a very beautiful, very snowy zone. Now, uh, a little word of uh, history, sorry, a little lesson here, a little history lesson of uh, little Minxie, my Asura warrior. She is now level 22 and a bit, and uh, on the way to level 23, of course, and, uh, well, I have a bow, and I have a great sword. And I believe this is one of my favorite, favorite uh, setups for Warrior. I also love Mason Shield. So when I made her, I basically went straight from here. This is the uh, Metrica, Metrica province. And uh, there's Ratasum there. Basically did uh, my journey straight to uh, Lion's Arch, which took me all the way over, over, over. There, there it is, all the way over there. And then I decided where did I want to go, and I settled on the Norn area. So I went through Holbrack, and then went to Wayfara Foothills, and did the starting area here. Then went up here, did the whole zone, I have 100% on there, it's brilliant. And uh, then went to, all around the place, I went down to the Human Zone, did 100% in Queensdale. I uh, went to Ascalon a little bit, but I thought I might as well continue my story in the snow area. And this place is called Snowden Drifts. It certainly is a beautiful area, and I've never been in this area before, as you can see. But someone told me it's spectacular, because uh, I loved the snowy zone of Wayfarer foothills. And I thought I might as well show you guys one of my favorite zones in different games, and the different kind of zones, and that is... A snowy zone. Just have a look at this. The snow is falling. It's just spectacular. Even the portals look amazing. Uh, there's someone who just came through. A worker, Savari worker. And look at the look at the snow on the mountains. Look at the uh, beautiful trees here. Spectacular area to be in. Okay, so here we are. And uh, I thought I might as well show you a bit of my traits and skills. Now, this is why I started my let's play a bit late instead of starting from the beginning. Now, if you want to see a uh, Let's Play starting from the very beginning, please head over to my great friend Sambo. Sambo and Reggie are continuing a uh, Guild Wars Let's Play in Guild Wars 2. They'll be saying goodbye to Guild Wars 1 in a little while, but uh, they are doing a great Guild Wars 2 Let's Play. And uh, basically, I wanted to start late level so I can show you a bunch of abilities. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So here we, you can see that I've pretty much maxed out every single weapon available to the warrior except for underwater spear. I have a bunch of skills here and we'll be unlocking my elite skill in about uh, eight, eight point something levels or not too sure, seven, seven a bit levels actually. So I thought I might as well show you how to unlock and swap an ability. So uh, one that I had my eye on was down here and uh, where was it? Techno Babble? No, that's that's an Asura race ability like this one here, Radiation Field and Pain Inverter. So uh, Stomp is definitely one that I have had More before in the PvP area, and it definitely is very good. So I'm going to swap out Radiation Field and put in Stomp. That is a great ability. So let me just demo it for you now. So basically, it launched nearby foes into the air with a powerful stomp. It looks amazing, it sounds amazing, and it is great. So, since we are in a brand new zone, you can see that my map has uh, not been drawn in, and it looks like it's going to be a very big zone, uh, which will progress from 15 to 25 in this area here, I'm guessing, and then go down to 25 to 40, I have no idea what that zone is called but it will take me up to Lion's Arch there, which will be great. And then down here, 40 to, 40, uh, 40 to 55, all these amazing looking areas down here will be great to uh, explore. But of course, let's concentrate on what we're doing, and that is the Snowden Drifts. So, first abilities, all that covered. There is my first waypoint. And it is called the High Pass Haven Waypoint. So let's have a look what's actually in this uh, little high pass. So straight away I can see that there is a scout. We definitely want to talk to them. My, my, you're a tall one. Look at that. 
The road here used to be filled with traffic going to and from Lion's Arch. But now, even caravans with armed escorts aren't safe. Those sons of Svani youngsters keep acting up and causing trouble. But the creatures corrupted by Jormag's ice are the greater threat. If you could help the Lion Guard secure and protect the area, I'm sure the spirits would smile upon you. Excellent. So, we definitely like spirits smiling upon us, giving us their wishes and their graces. So, uh, there's a merchant here, which is always good to... I'm almost... I'm a little bit taller than some of these people's boots. Yes. What can I do for you? Well, my good man, you can provide me a uh, crude and a basic salvage kit. May all your theories be sound. Yes, and hello there. You definitely look like you can repair some things, but uh, I don't actually need that. So there you go. Um, my God, that's a big hammer and big trousers. So. What do we have to have to do here? What do we have to have to do? There is a task down here. Help hunters and travellers near the road. Remove any dangers along Lion Road. Assist Lion Guard travellers and local hunters. Check hunters trapped to remove dangerous creatures trapped inside. And there is a fallen ally there. Another scout which shall point us back from to more things. Got any furs? Not today. Ran into a caravan on the road. So, as you can see that I have a sickle, an axe and a mine pick. Uh, equipped? Ooh, hello, Wolfie. First bit of combat. So, as you can see, the uh, two-handed... Whoa, 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 are we summoning more? Are we summoning allies? I can't actually do that yet, but you are very pretty-looking wolves. Let me just tell you that. Pretty char-roasted. So, here is an aspen sapling. That should grant me the very first type of wood, which is green wood logs. That could be used in multiple things, as it says there. Artificer, Huntsman's, and Weaponsmith's Weapon. Weaponsmith's Weapon. Waskeny Wabbits. A Wed Woes. So, there's a copper ore here. This is all pretty much the lowest level of gathering gear. But, as you can see, it still yields me some experience. So, it's always great to grab these for some cash and XP. So, as we uh, gather gathering materials here... I shall unlock a section of the map here, hopefully. If not... Ooh, there's a hunter trap down there, which is for the task. Excellent. So, there we go. I have unlocked a piece of the map, as you can see now. Wow, big piece, this uh, section right there. Excellent. So, there's a point of interest coming up. Hello. Oh, it's a... Oh, bollocks. I didn't mean to do that. No! Little bunny! What have I done? I've killed the rabbit. Bollocks. Okay, so, uh... Let's head down to... Whoa, 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 what's happening? Something's wrong. Greetings, friend. You've been poisoned. How do I fix him? Look at that. Mercenary soldier. Is this going to turn into a dynamic event? Who knows? What's going to happen here? Down over here. How do I fix him? We can't wait here long, soldier. The area's crawling with ice brood, and those sons of Svanir aren't looking too friendly. Forcing him to push on in this condition. Okay, that didn't work. Fine. We'll let him rest. But keep your weapons ready. The ice brood aren't known for their sympathy. Holy crap, what is that? that that's a that's a bloomin' dragon. Yes, so this is a dyma dynamic event. I have to keep these soldiers alive, and there's going to be five Waves of ice brood wolves. Spinning spin of death. S something something of death. So after combat, I will explain my main abilities with the uh, great sword. Definitely a fun weapon to play with, as you can see. A lot of damage, a lot of berserking, and a lot of. Uh, it reminds me a lot of being Yoda. Sorry, lots, it reminds me a lot of Yoda. Oh my goodness, there's an elemental here. It's a big one too. Aha! Evaded! You will not get me. Oh my god, there's another player there. So this... 
I've been told that this place... Oh, I'm going to get hit. I've been told that this place is uh, a bit empty at, at times. I think I am actually on the overflow, which uh, doesn't help. But, uh... oh, by the way, if you want to add me as a friend, you can certainly do so. Let me just press Y, and uh, here we are. My name is Sifo.5436. You can uh, add me, and we shall venture forth together. Fun and frolicking to be had. So I can explain the abilities now. I think it's a bit quieter. Oh, he summoned a little one. So he summons minions, chills, and bleeds. So basically my first ability here is general swing abilities. Uh, usually the same type of abilities for every weapon. It's it's generic, It's uh, pretty much at three or four different uh, abilities which can auto attack and chain which is very nice there's this ability here which is 100 blades which is where I basically hover in mid-air and slice my blade hence one millionth billion times and I forgot to get myself some magic food yes down for maintenance yes very good here we go what do I have here that's better than nothing I'm gonna need some bread I am a chef, by the way, of, uh, what's my skill? Let's have a look here under crafting. Um, 115, so I'm, I'm not that amazing, but, uh, hey, it's better than nothing. I can cook to survive. Okay, so the third ability is Whirlwind Attack. As you can see, it brings up this thing here, which spins me, spinning around. There's my hundreds blade. I'm slicing like crazy. And uh, all these ice brood... Ice brood uh, wolves are actually counting towards the task, which is nearby, so that's great. Uh, killing two wolves with one sword. And, okay, so the fourth ability is Blade Trail. As you can see, I swing my sword, and it comes back. It, it reminds me like, a lot like a League of Legends move. Something that uh, flies out and then comes back. Spin, 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 and miss. But uh, it is definitely a great move, so... I'll do it now, so you can see. So swinging away and swinging back. No idea how it works like a boomerang. Don't ask me. It just does. And my uh, my fifth ability is called Rush. I charge and strike my foe. It's best displayed from a distance because uh, even though it does work close range, it uh, you get the you get the feel of it from back away. So here we go, charging and missed. Okay, there was a bit of a letdown. Whoa, oh, oh no. We're under attack. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Swing my blade. I've swung my blade again. There we go. Okay, so... Ability impaired, which means I've been slowed. And uh, that's pretty much the uh, greatsword. And event succeeded. Excellent. He should be feeling better now. He's getting a lot of snow sickness. Come on, mate. Wakey, wakey. I'll whack you. Whack, 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 whack. Bam. Wakey, wakey, mate. In survival Come on. training, I learned about alpine lilies. Local flowers that can cure disease. That's what we need. Get me enough alpine lilies, and I think I can make a cure for this sickness. Can you help us? Okay, great. I can't so save him unless I get more alpine lilies. This dynamic event has just, uh... Just gone even better. We have to collect these alpine lilies, which look just wonderful, which weren't actually here before, by the way. They've just magically, uh, uh, whoa, 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 magically appeared out of the ground, which is, which is very good phasing technology, as we've seen in uh, World of Warcraft and similar games. Only they add another bonus by having ice worm hatchlings appear. So there we go. Okay, so uh, there's another alpine lily back here. So we have to get it before he dies, pretty much. Spread of illness becomes irreversible in seven minutes. And it looks like I'm the only one doing this dynamic event. I've collected about five or six now. Even collecting the lilies counts towards the uh, task. I'm sure it does. Oh, goodness. That actually had not a rabbit, but it had one of these fellas. Maximum. 
Okay, so I get out of the way. I need to get some lilies. So here we go. My main ability just pretty much is just one shot over and over again. It's called dual shot. Shoot a pair of arrows. And then there's fan of fire, which shot, uh, shoots three flaming arrows. There's this one here, which is called arcing arrow, which is basically a nice fire bolt in arrow form. This one here is called smoldering arrow. Shoots an arrow that explodes on impact which blinds foe, and it's a really good ability to Honor use. The there we go. So, local hero, I've got 50 hearts. That's a good achievement to have. And I have uh, successfully completed the task. So let me show you the uh, blinding arrow when I have uh, one single target on me, so I can properly demonstrate it. There's another alpine lily. Pick that up. Haha, I got it before you, dude. But he, hey, you never know. He could have, uh, could have grabbed that at the same time, which means we both, uh, got it. Another dynamic event has opened up, which is just east, southeast of me. But I want to cure this fella before he dies, before it's irreversible. I don't want this fella dying. Of course not. We want him to survive. He is a mercenary soldier. He needs his cash to feed his hungry children. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what you're up to. Ah, damn. Oh, there you go. Blinded. So, as you can see, he doesn't know where I am. It's kind of like a uh, a snake would attack. He's like, oh, God, where is he? You know, trying to, uh, trying to hear me because he's blind. It's weird. It reminds you of Harry Potter when, uh, when Forks chops out the uh, basilisk's eyes. That's pretty much how well done movies are for me. Okay, so I've got ten, and it looks like four minutes remaining on the clock. Will Honor we the save past. this guy? I don't think we will. There's eleven, and I'm the only one doing this, it looks like, again. I have to fan out a bit. Okay, there's another alpine lily. I've got to save this guy. What are you doing over there, mate? Hey, Aussie beast. Hey, at least he's from Australia, like I am. Good on you, mate. But you really, really should be collecting those uh, lilies. We've got to get this guy up and running. I don't know why, but hey, it's a dy dynamic event. We have to save him. Don't ask me why. We have to. Oh, 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 there's one. Don't talk. Just keep going. Get all the lilies. I love picking flowers, but this is definitely an A-grade flower picking emergency here. We have to go at full Death Flower Con 7. I don't know what it is, but hey. Oh, not enough yet. Come on, people, I hope you have some lilies for me. Not for me, but for our old pal, mercenary soldier. Will we save him? 13 XP from something I just shot at once. Bloody brilliant. So, uh, oh goodness. Hey, a, that's the guy that I did the task for. Whoa, 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 there's one. I think that one just popped up, not too sure. We're almost there. There we go, we have made it. Creating the potion in 39 seconds. I just noticed that, so I better hand in whatever you find the path, whatever Paul. lilies I have left. There we go, another two. So that would have added Honor to my past. score. I'm definitely getting a uh, definitely getting a gold medal for this one. Okay, we must take down this guy. Another 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Poor mercenary soldier. Will he survive? You. Hang in there, buddy. You honor me. Hang in there, fella. Let me just. Sleep on top of you. Wait, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. Just to get rid of me. And let's get rid of the interface. Ah, now we can't see the timer. Who's snoring? Ah, that's me. I'm feeling much better now. Hooray! Thank you, sir. I think I can make it the rest of the way. Glad to have you back, soldier. But we'll have to celebrate later. Once we find shelter at the next camp, I'll pass out our extra potions if anyone needs them. Bloody brilliant. So there we go. We have uh, completed a task, which was this one here for, uh, I've got his name. I don't think I read his name out. Let's go collect this, uh, I think it was herb. Oh, it's carrots. Brilliant. I can make carrot stew or carrot biscuits. Carrot cake. Carrot, carrot lamingtons. Carrot hairdresser sauce. Hairdresser sauce. Salad dressing. Now, one of the most amazing features of Guild Wars 2 is something that's so subtle. Look at this guy walking through the bushes. Um, look at this guy walking through the bushes. Okay, it's not working. But look at me walking through the bushes. It moves. The bushes react to me. 
It's like a slight little cling and then release. It's brilliant. So this is Lion Guard Haral. Stay out of trouble. Yes, I or else. will. Your faith is your weakness, human. Wait, that's a human. You're back, little Minxie. I've got some trinkets here that might interest you. Show me what you got. I require your so, attention. Ooh, a medical pack. Double click to consume. Double click to gain a Captain. med pack consumable. You like you've been dragged through a snowdrift. Just a little farther, you can have some stew at the landing. Excellent. So Lion's Arch I've never... is a free city until you make trouble. Yes, I've never actually seen a medical pack. So I have a, I have quite a lot of ooh, rifles, quite a lot of uh, karma. So I should be able to afford that. I should buy a rifle as well, so I'm I can sure show you can guys again. the rifle abilities. And I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. That's what she said. Okay, so double click to consume. Oh, oh, brilliant. So it's like a drop bandages, drop stimulant. Oh, I love it. I hope it's not a one-off ability. Please return to my backpack. No. Oh, what a waste of money. Okay, so let's equip my brand new rifle. Let's see what it looks like. That is badass. Look at that. Hide the interface. Shabam. I get in little Minxie's way. No sorry, Barb. Okay, so I still have plenty of time on the timer. I'm going for an extra ten minutes, believe it or not. Um, now, I think it'll be best to go to that main city, show you what that's all about. But on the way, of course, I'll show you my rifle abilities here. So, I have Bleeding Shot, which stacks a bunch of bleeding effects, which is always good. Bleeding and fire does good damage. Let's get these onions that could go with my carrot hair dressing. Alright, so bleeding shot, fire shot that bleeds your target. Also does 32 damage and bleed for 6 seconds, a total of 73 damage. Combo finisher, physical projector, oh god here it comes. And a rage of 1200. I also have aim shot, fire precise shot that triples your foe. It's always good to start with a crippling effect. This one here is volley which basically fires a bunch of bullets. Can't get any better than that. Okay, and there's Brutal Shot. Shoot your foe and make them vulnerable. So, I'm going to open up with an Aim Shot, then a Brutal Shot, and then fire the volley. And now when they're close, you whack them with them, and they go flying back. And now we do a Kill Shot. Uh, it's usually a great finisher, a combo finisher. But there we go. So that's pretty much the gist of a rifle. And, uh, oh, I better check my my mailbox here. In my lifetime, I've seen Jormax corruption follow us further and further south. We are still getting by today, but what of the future? Through you, I've seen that even one person's efforts can help to stem the tide. Thank you for giving us, uh, thank you for giving this old soldier hope. 94 copper for your trouble. There we go. Oh, I've never seen this. It's a snow cherry sapling. And mind you, it's beautiful. It's it's one of the most lovely trees. I'm taking it down. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Ha 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 ha. More wood for me. Ha 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 ha. Goodbye, lovely tree. I stomp on thee. And now thy is a stump, which I can jump on. So, yeah. It's a cruel game. Um, what is over here? More onions? Yes, it is. More onions. Um, nom, 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 nom. More onions for me and more XP for me. So, we are approaching... Wait, is that the Tamar Valley? Tromigar Valley. Gosh, I've been uh, looking up Tasmanian ge uh, geography a bit too much. There's a snow leopard up ahead. Level 16. Pounces on the foes. Let's see that in action, shall we? I want to see a pounce. Pouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. This is not good. Almost fell over. Where'd he go? Oh! Ah! Ow! He definitely likes to pounce on foes. So I kind of wasted my uh, rifle, but... But back you go, naughty kitty. And you're dead. Alright. Buying a level 20 to 25 greatsword. Do I have a spare one? I don't think I do. I had one, but I think I salvaged it. Wah, wah, wah. I'm going to be poor in this game. I definitely know that I will be poor. So, let's have a look at this 
Beautiful Doliak. I'm not going to attack him. Isn't he lovely? Where's his eyes? I can't see his eyes. Oh, he's so beautiful. I can see you, baby. I'll give you a big tummy rub. Better not. Might crush me while trying to roll over. So, here we are. My next waypoint for the zone. Snowhawk landing point. Way waypoint. Yes. Yes, I knew what I was going to do then. So, we've completed 5% of this map. Which is quite good. As we just started. And uh, here we go. Our second scout. Since corruption spread by the ice brute has blocked the main road, we've had to detour traffic through this dangerous side route. The increased risk has hurt trade to and from Lion's Arch, even affecting our ability to get basic supplies. We must improve the safety of the road so that the flow of trade can be re-established. Okay, so we have to get the trade up and running again. Yes, one always needs trade. Let's see what this is. Onions, uh, carrots, carrots, and onions. Yes, the poor people of this area have a lot of hairdresser soup. Oh, hello, kitty. Wait, I didn't mean hello, kitty. Did I get him? No. Ouch. And some I have choppy woppy. Yes, 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 that's enough now. Let's get this onions, since we do not have enough onions. Ah, more kitties. I don't want to kill more kitties. I like snow leopards. They are beautiful. Oh, oh, these things are not, though. Let's get these. Sorry. Miss, 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 miss. See, that's the thing about this game. You can be miles away from your target, and you really have to look for those visual cues that you will miss. Um, you really have to learn range, which is definitely unique to uh, the MMO genre. Knowing range is basically knowing a number, but here it looks more visual, and uh, that is definitely for the win. I don't know what the hell that is, but I, I got to kills it. I go kill you by range, because I don't want to get near you, you look dangerous. Now, kill shot is fire a powerful shot, damage increases with adrenal level, and uh, level 1, 2, and 3 are here. Basically, by using abilities, you can use this one, which takes aim, and bam. So, oh, that actually works towards a task, and I'm guessing it's... Yes, it's this one. Destroy corrupted ice blocking the main road. Help the lion guard defending snowhawk landing northern border. Defeat any ice brood in the area. So there you go. If I defeat any ice brood, I get some, uh, some uh, points towards that task. Which is good. Ah, missed it. So I didn't actually show you the stomp ability, and I think it's a good time now. Wasn't that good? I killed him, but uh, fortunately I didn't actually want to. I wanted just to demonstrate how far they flew back. It's actually a very good, good ability. There we go. So let's uh, swap back to my great sword here. And there's more carrots for us. Brilliant. Can't get more carrots. Can't have enough more carrots. Yes, two more carrots for me. And there's some wolves there, but I don't want to kill wolves. I want to kill ice brood. What on earth is that? An ice brood colossus. Goodness. They look colossally. If that's a word, then I should be given a word an award. To be quite frank. Oh my ice brood Norn? Is that did that used to be a Norn? You're joking. I don't want to get anywhere near that, to be honest. And this thing looks deadly, but I can at least I have a ranged weapon. So, as you can see, if you can see, every now and then a red line should appear when he's about to uh, do his little... There it is, there. That is the area of effect circle. All area of effect has a circle. 
Unless it says, like, nearby. Okay, I think we can take this guy down. I'm going to send my greatsword. Swinging at his ankle, swinging back. I'm going to swing and spin. Spin to win. I hope this didn't used to be a Norn. Please. That would be awful. Ah, uh, look at the ice on him. Look at the... Uh, I don't want to know what it was. As long as it's gone. Hello there. That's also an ice brood Norn. Wait. You're not going hyper... Oh, maybe you are. Am I blue? Because one time I did... Yes. One time I did turn blue and almost frozen. Which was very interesting. I didn't know what was happening. And she just said I was going hypothermic then. So maybe that's what was happening. I think my, my hair actually turned a bit blue. So there's two colossus here. There's some fragments here which we can dispatch. With no trouble at all. I'm almost level 23. I want to reach level 23. I want to get to 23. Yes. Hello, Colossus. How are that? Oh, oh my god. Evaded. Okay. Do these guys... Ah, oh, they shoot. Ah, oh, these guys are not friendly whatsoever. Ah, oh, I gotta get out of here. Get out. Okay, good. This is nasty. These guys are horrible, aren't they? Ah. Oh. Get out of that. Get out of another one. Oh, I missed that one. Dang. Ow. Ow, wow, wow. I'm going to get hit by all these different things. Got to get out of all the different area effect things. That's because I left that formation up there. Adds to my misery. It does. Clang at the ice. Damn ice. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I definitely have to get rid of this thing. Let's swap to my uh, rifle. Let's blast it. Uh, I missed it again. Let's blast at this thing, shall we? I have my uh, healing signet, which actually grants me regeneration all the time. And it, and if I activate it by clicking on it, it'll heal me. Whoa, whoa, get out of that. Ah, oh, missed it. I just noticed it. I was busy reading quest text. Not quest text. Skill text. Even better than quest text. Okay, I'm going to swap to this. going to do stop. As you can see... Mighty powerful. Oh, and he has his own type of stomp ability. Well, I'm going to do this. Yeah, what do you say to that, eh, buddy? Oh, yes. You're dead. So I have half a bow left to go. I'm going to swap to rifle. Or should I swap to my... Ah, uh, I should swap to my... Oh, an arrow, really. My uh, longbow. So I can do this. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. There you go. I, I turned blue a little bit. I turned a little bit blue, I should say. Not blue a little bit. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, so I should pop down this burning effect down there. So, I can... I'm guessing fire isn't very good for ice. <laughs> why have a billion when you can have a million? I don't know why I thought of that then, but hey. Yeah. I have nothing to say. I'm going to pop that down there. And let's shoot through the fires to make more fire so you can double up on the fire and you make lots of burning fire. Adrenaline rising. Adrenaline rising. Fire! To destroy what you've done. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, help the soldiers fight off the ice brood. Oh no! That's the uh, the dynamic event that I did before, and they're failing by the looks of it. No waves have been defeated, and there's two militia left. So that wasn't that long to uh, reset. And I'm approaching my limit, but it's oh, I'm so close to level 23, I feel like I should get there. So I'm going to keep on fighting until I reach the highest ground. There we go, so... Oh! There we are, ladies and gentlemen. The old one, Bolsa the Elder. This old woman, she remembers you. Those she hunts for are still there. But some, some you have laid to rest. They fell as they should in battle against a worthy foe. She thanks you for this from me. Here's 98 copper for your troubles. Excellent. So, hero, and I've earned a trait. Let me show you my traits. I kind of went silly here. 
I'm choosing defense and tactics, basically because I want to survive. As you can see that I do have quite a lot of uh, health and I haven't passed away yet, which is good. So I'm going to pop once more in defense. I want to unlock my level two, uh, level 10 skills here, as you can see. Here they are. Uh, increases damage to weakened foes. Reflect missiles whenever you are blocking. Vigorous return. Increases health on rally. Uh, rally. Sure-footed increases stand situation by 25%, and turtles defense gain uh, 200 plus toughness when crippled, chilled, stunned, or immobilized, and gain an adrenaline when hit. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. I have four slot skill points available, and yes, when I reach level 30, I'll be able to use my Mist Fire Wolf, which will be brilliant. So I hope you've all enjoyed this. Uh, very special first Guild Wars 2 Let's Play episode. Until next time, it's a bye bye from me and from Minxie here, little Minxie. And this person who's just turned up. Hello, person who's just turned up. How art thou? Yes. Goodbye. And uh, by the way, that's my guild. Sign up on the website. Details are below. Bye bye.